The last step in uh, plastination is the casting stage. Uh, for casting E12 slices, we will uh, use the sandwich method. The sandwich method implies building up a sandwich out of uh, multiple layers, and in the end, we will have a block which will rest on the uh, desk for two days, and after two days, we will move this block in the oven at 45 degrees. So, keep in mind, epoxy is like a glue, glue everything, so you have to have your table covered, and keep in mind, epoxy has an allergenic potential. So that means don't get uh, skinny contact with uh, E12. It could produce allergy in some of uh, the people. So the first thing to do is uh, place a glass plate in the middle of a styropor foam block. On the glass plate, you will place a thin 0.25 millimeters foil, polyester, uh, polystyrene foil, and then actually the casting can start. We have here our uh, impregnation bath. We have to remove the covering grid, letting excessive resin ooze out. Always have a container nearby where you can drop your used grids. In the resin bath, you will have your stack of uh, slices which are now impregnated. You have to lift them easily out and open the stack of slices. After opening and cutting the ropes which keep it together, we will remove the first grid. And now we are preparing the next step, the sandwich building step. So on the foil that we have placed on a glass plate, we have to place a little bit of resin. So we take with a spoon some resin out of the impregnation bath and place some resin on the foil. We should think about where we will place our uh, specimens. So on those sides where we place the specimens, we have to put some epoxy resin. Epoxy resin mixture, actually, because it contains also the hardener. Why should we do that? We are doing this because now the slices do not contain air at all. They don't contain air bubbles. So all the air bubbles are out. We just have to lift our slices, place it on the resin spots, and then no air bubble can uh, come inside. So we avoid bubble air bubble formation in the uh, inside of our slices. Now, we remove the specimens out of resin, of the impregnation bud, and lay them gently on the resin spots. We remove the covering grid of the next layer and take out the next slice. You see our um, slide is without air inside and the connective tissue is translucent. So now we place the slice gently on our resin spot and go further with our casting. The next slide will be placed uh, similar to the others. We will take it out of the impregnation bath and place it on our resin spot. After we have uh, placed the tissue slices on our uh, foil containing 
a little bit of resin. We rearrange them in the desired position and uh, look to be symmetrically placed on the uh, foil. The next step is to put a little bit of resin on the top of each specimen. We will pour a little bit, not excessive, but a little bit of resin on each slice that we have placed on our uh, foil. Now, the next step, and you have to have clean hands for that, implies to use a covering foil to cover these slices. So we will take another foil, uh, 0.2 thick foil, and place it gently over the slices. Now actually we have done our first layer. So it means we have two foils and they are laying on a glass plate. But to be sure there is no air on the top air or below, we have to squeeze. We have to squeeze. We use for that a spatula, a, a wooden spatula, and we squeeze the resin from the top and from the side of our specimen. So actually, in between, in between uh, be the foils, we will have the specimen, no air bubbles, only air bubbles on the periphery around the slices. So we will do it for each specimen. To be sure that we don't have any air bubbles on the slice. So after checking if there are bubbles, if there are some bubbles, you can even do it again, squeeze it again, pull the air bubbles apart. They should be around the specimen, not inside the specimen area. So now the first layer is finished. Now we have to invade it with a second glass plate. So now it's time for another layer of our sandwich. So for another layer, we take another glass plate, another foil, which we place on the top, and we will continue until we finished our slices. Okay, we will move forward. We will do another layer. We will have to do the same procedure. That means we will have a glass plate, and then we will have a foil, and we will place some resin. There we will know we will have our slices. Always the first step is to put some resin on the foil, on the spots where we will place our slices. After we have done that, we will take the slices out and uh, place them on the top of these spots, of the resin spots. Essentially is when you do this procedure to keep the slices as uh, short as possible draining the uh, resin out of them. If you keep them only a few seconds out of uh, resin, it doesn't happen nothing. But if you drain them too long, air could go into the slices, between the structures of the slices, and you will have trapped air bubbles. So the main idea is to keep the uh, draining stage of your slices very short. Now we have two nice slices, two nice body slices uh, placed in the middle. Uh, it's sufficient now for this layer. We always have to look to have sufficient space around the body slices, not to be very close. And then we will put some resin again on the top of the slices, covering the area maybe where air bubbles could 
uh, calm and uh, good rise. So we just place a little bit of resin on the top. The next thing to do is to take another uh, foil, cover the, cover the slices with the resin, gently squeeze them down, put the foil on the top, and in the end, you have to squeeze air bubbles out. Squeezing always starts in the middle of the slice. From the middle of the slice, you go to the periphery. So from the middle, squeeze the slices to the periphery. Starting in the middle and squeezing it down to the periphery of your slices. Once you've done that, in the end, you will take a closer look. Look if uh, there are some remaining air bubbles. Air bubbles around the slice, doesn't matter. We will cut them at the end out. So don't bother about the air bubbles around your slices. So now it's finished. We squeezed all the air bubbles out. It's time for a new layer. So what will we do? We'll, we'll take another glass plate and place another foil on the top. So now we have uh, done the last layer. We have our uh, sandwich block uh, made. It's time to finish our casting. So finishing means we have to place a glass plate on the top and in the end we have some bricks or uh, some weights on the top which will press the glass plates down and squeeze like that air bubbles to the periphery, keep them out of our slices. The other thing is by, by invading, invading this uh, block, the surfaces will be quite straight. So in the end when, when, when we will open it, the slices would have, have the same thickness. So everything we have used, every grid, every gauze, every uh, other additional uh, structure that we had uh, used in the impregnation bath, we will have to throw away. You can't reuse the grids, you can't wash them, you can't uh, keep them because epoxy, it's a glue, it will uh, get hard after one day. So everything you have used, just throw it away. The only thing that you have to clean and to keep are instruments. Instruments has to be clean with paper, so uh, in the end you will reuse the instruments for the next uh, impregnation or for the next building of a sandwich. Keep the impregnation bath. Why? It's your resin where you can see how hard it comes after one day. You will keep it beside and you will watch it after one, two days and see, okay, it's hard. That means even the uh, slices aren't hard inside. Usually epoxy resin, the epoxy mixture uh, E12, E1, gets uh, solid after uh, one, two days at room temperature. That means we will close the entire package and let it in the uh, uh, the section room or in the room where you have uh, plastinated it, uh, let it there on the table. At room temperature for two days, that means you actually do a pre-curing. And after uh, these two days, you will move your block when the resin is uh, solid in the oven and you will place it in an oven for four days at 45 degrees. So because uh, E12 could ooze out and could ruin your table or ruin your floor or ruin all the things, you have to close it from all sides. The first thing is taking two weights, in this case two bricks, put them in the middle of your um, block and then cover up your sandwich block from all sides so you are sure nothing oozes out. No resin is uh, oozing out of your block. 
if somebody, uh, if something uh, oozes out from the foils or uh, from in between the foils, it will stay inside the foil. After two days, the resin is solid, you can reopen it, lift the sandwich, put it in the oven for the next four days at 45 degrees, and then curing is finished. After four days at 45 degrees, you have reached the uh, final hardness of epoxy.